And so what are we looking at here in the garage? This is my 71 Nancy Ferguson Ski Whiz. It's a 300S base model. Okay, what makes this old vintage snowmobile so special well, besides the missing seat, um, which is in the trailer? Pretty much this huge bar riser it's got right here. It came in that way factory. It's pretty factory sweet. bar riser. Yep. We got uh, stainless steel throttle control and thumb stainless steel brake control with only a little bit of rust. Just a little bit? Yep. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go with that. Not bad. So what's uh, under the hood of this beast? Uh, it's a J-Lo. L295. That doesn't look stock. Well, I changed a couple things. This, I wanted it to be more like a dirt bike, so I put a dirt bike pipe on it, which doesn't really make it go any faster. It's actually worse, but well, I don't know. I mean, it looks cool. You know, I couldn't, my uh, pipe building software that they don't have didn't tell me that, that it wouldn't work, so. Oh yeah, it sure caught me off guard. Well, trial and error, as they say. Is that a factory spark plug cap? Uh, no, that's from uh, Honda Civic, I believe. Cool, cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Bike. What's all this, like, wiring and battery for? What's all this wiring? Uh, uh, that is for my uh, Mega Squirt. A Mega Squirt? I... What's a Mega Squirt? It is a, it's a fuel injection. It's a standalone ECU. It's actually, it's actually a micro squirt. But you said this was a 1970 or 1971, right? Mm. Yep. They didn't well, have I, fuel injection back then. I had a couple, uh, you know, widgets as they say. Widgets. Yes. Yeah. Bells have, and whistles. I have heard that before. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, let's, let's see a little bit of a demo on this thing. All right. Um, what kind of throttle body is that? Uh, a it's, carburetor? It's uh, off of a 2013 uh, Honda CBR250 motorcycle. It's like a 22 millimeter or something, almost the same size as the stock. Okay. Stock uh, Tillotson. Yeah, see the fuel injector right there. HR. So, fuel oh, injected, yeah. you say? Yep, it's got a 240cc injector. Oh, it's probably good enough for what, 50 horsepower? Uh, I think probably about, probably about uh, 40 naturally aspirated, maybe like 30 turbo or supercharged. Why would turbo be relevant? Uh, it's not. It's just. Future plans, perhaps? Um, definitely not. New, 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 new. I don't even like turbos. All right, well, let's see it run. All right. Um, so do you gotta like turn the key or pull the string? How's it work? No, I got uh, this remote here. It's, you know, it's the 21st century, so why, you know, strain yourself by having to either pull start or use a key? I mean, it could break a finger. Because, yeah, how many pounds of compression did you say that engine had? Uh, According to my gauge, like 185 or so. Oh, yes, yeah, so that would certainly strain your arm pulling on a rope. Except, yeah, it's actually a cable and it's broke before, so. So, pretty high compression. It's not because of my strength either, definitely not. All right, let's push that button. All right, hang on. First, I have to disarm it. Disarm? Well, that is a security system. I guess this would be. Arm. Yeah. Thieves would definitely have their eye on this machine parked out in the lot. Yeah, it's uh, ski whizzes are, are actually the most stolen snowmobile, uh, at least as of 2015 records state. Wow, much like the, the Honda Civic is the most stolen car? Yeah, exactly. Except okay. not a 1970 Civic, but 71 ski whizzes are very popular for thieves, you know, because there's a lot of them around. They use parts markers on fire. You know, That's, yeah, actually. I believe All right, that. we'll see if it starts here. It's very nice. I think my attack signal needs a little bit of adjustment, but besides that, it seems to work. Wow, good. that's a pretty cool machine there. I mean, it probably runs pretty good on cold winter days and stuff. Uh, yeah, it didn't start the other day in like 15 below. I have to adjust the after start enrichment by probably a lot because it's didn't like it. But like today being like 10 degrees, it started up perfect. So yeah, that brings up another question then. So Massey Ferguson, they used to make tractors, or they still do. Yep. So say you're tractoring through the woods, pulling like a pile of logs 
on this bumper or something. Mm -hmm. And for some reason you get stuck and you got to back up, like say, you know, a dead end trail. Do you have a solution for that? Besides, I mean, it's a steel frame, steel tunnel. It can't be that light to turn Yeah, well, you just uh, back up. It's reverse. I didn't see any kind of reverse gearbox in this thing. Uh, you just, well, it's, you just hit the button, the reverse button, duh. I just pull it off a rev and it just bolts on. It's like, it's like direct fit. You're saying that this button came off of a skidoo rev? Yep. You just hit it like that and then reverse sometimes works. I don't, I don't believe you. All right, let's see if it, we'll give it a shot. Best thing about a steel tunnel, you got sight marker lights, magnet style. Or you could even do underglow, I suppose. Yeah, I did that before, but chicks were not leaving me alone. It was getting a little bit irritating. Oh yeah. All right, let's see if this works here. That is pretty cool. It's a nice machine you got there. Thank you. Hope to see it on the, the show circuit or maybe the race circuit soon. Yeah, it'll be in the ice drags and a water skipping competition next year at Grantsburg. So I'll see you there. All right.